I like to say, hey, there we are. I think I'm being a gentleman. Ladies. God, I love that part. Let's do that one more time. Ladies. God, I love that. That will never get old. Welcome to the Richmond Burlesque Review. Suave as always. How many of you have been to a burlesque show before. <laughs> Better turn out than I expected. How many of you have never been to a burlesque show before? <laughs> Just, I was like waiting for that first person. I'm like, come on, not all of you clapped the first time. Man. It's just a few people that are like, I don't want to admit I've never done this. I've never done this before. I'm sorry, this never happens to me. Well, you guys are, for those of you who have never been here before, you're in for a treat. A very special treat at that. For those of you who have been to a burlesque show before, tonight's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> now, I realize that I broke one of my cardinal taboos, so I guess I, I'm, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do this. And I'm picking on you here. How you doing? Please. That's quite all right. I don't feel clever ever. I just am. It's amazing. I'm gonna get to you, and I'm gonna get you to say clearly, concisely, just from the depths of the, yes, di that's the word I was looking, sure, diaphragm is what I was looking for. Yeah, that's the one. Rattlesnakes and condoms, two things I don't fuck with. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get you to say clearly and concisely into the microphone your favorite curse word. Ready? And go. Fucktard. 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 I love that there are so many uses for fucktard. Just at any given point. It's just applicable at all the right times. Fucktard. So, normally, I would say, if any of you were offended, by the use of the phrase fucktard, then you're at the wrong goddamn show. Because there's gonna be a lot more to that. Um, also, normally I would say that now you can't blame me for any swearing if you actually are offended, you blame her. However, I started this off by saying fuck already, and I'm just gonna keep saying that all night long. One person's like, yeah, I love the word fuck! Yeah, fuck it, done. See? Fuck time. Love it. Beautiful. We're off to a good start. Allow me to introduce myself. I am your host for the evening, the affable, amiable, rarely laughable, incredible, most humble man you will ever meet. Ego Von Hubers. Thank you, most of you in the front. I get that you guys are like near the bar, but like seriously, you're still part of this. Like, let's come on this journey together. You guys are just, I know most of you didn't come for me, but any of you who didn't come for me will have the opportunity later. Opportunity later. Phrasing, you threw me off with the phrasing? I love that. Phrasing! You're not my supervisor. So for those of you who have never been to a burlesque show before, we're gonna go over a thing that we like to call Berlinicate. I like that some of you are like, oh, that's clever. Oh, it's burlesque, it's burlesque etiquette, I like that. <laughs> Great, we're off to a rousing start with this. Wonderful. So please, welcome to the stage, our stage kitten and local pickup artist for this evening, Katie Creamsicle. You'll definitely be seeing more of her as the night goes on, and if you're very, very lucky, you'll be seeing a lot more of her as the night goes on. Now, Berlinicate is basically this. We encourage whistling, hooting, catcalling, hollering during the performance, showing your appreciation from the depths of, just from the depths. <laughs> Keep the heckling down to a minimum. I can handle a fair amount. However, that does not just, seriously, these ladies work really hard to do what they do. So show a little respect, but at the same time, to give you some idea, if you were to see a little bit of this... Yeah. 
Better, closer, warmer, some of you are getting it. Let's try this again. If you were to see a little something like this. Much better. Thank you so very much, my dear. We'll be seeing more of you in just a few minutes. Wonderful. Yes. My God, it is so quiet. It's so rare. Is it just this, just this din of expectance? Yes, yes, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. You're not getting naked. Get the fuck off the stage. I'm not saying that you don't have nice tits, but seriously, come on, they're quite ugly. So, I was gonna say, but these pasties are not nearly as comfortable as the ladies make it look. Sorry, guys, probably should wear them under a vest, I think is key. What do you say we welcome our first performer in this stage? 